How's it going, everyone? This is Jeremy Guzman from Mass Adoption LLC here. I'm just here with another explainer on what some of these geyser stats mean. Um, I've been a part of the community for quite some time, and I've seen that there's some confusion with what the total rewards mean, um, what do the lock rewards mean in comparison to the unlocked rewards, um, what does APY reward multiplier and accrue rewards mean? Just the whole thing is a bit of a confusion to a lot of the participants, and I'm just here to offer some clarity. So for starters, let's go ahead and look at the APY. Now, APY is calculated assuming you have achieved the maximum reward multiplier and does not account for gains or losses from holding liquidity tokens. Now, the beginning portion is pretty straightforward, right? It's um, assuming that you have achieved a maximum reward multiplier, which is here, right? And we'll get into that in just a moment. However, the second portion of the explanation does not account for gains or losses from holding liquidity tokens. Now, what does that mean? So in order for you to participate in the geyser, you have to add liquidity to the wrapped ETH ample Uniswap V2 liquidity pool, right? Whether it be on Zapper or on Uniswap. Whichever the case, once you deposit your tokens and you deposit it into the geyser, this does not reflect any impermanent losses or any gains of the value that is represented within that token. So if ETH, the value of ETH goes up, you will not, it will not be reflected in this 72.04%, or if the value of ample goes up and may or may not be reflective here in this percentage. Moving along here to reward multiplier, it reads deposit liquidity tokens for two months to achieve a 3x reward multiplier. That's pretty straightforward. However much liquidity you deposit for X amount of months, here it says two months, you will receive or you will achieve 3x on your reward multiplier. It's pretty straightforward. Accrued rewards, total rewards you have accrued till date, right? So as of now, I have earned about one and a half ample. The larger your deposit and for longer, the higher the accrual rate. So the more you add, the more you will earn. The longer you stay, the more you will earn as well. So now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. So first and foremost, total rewards. What the heck does that mean? So right now we're looking at the total rewards are 96,057.89 ample. Now. This is the total number of ample awards that will be distributed in today's ample pool, right? So if you were here at the beginning of the pilot, on day one, it was 75,000 ample. So if the supply doubled by the end of the pilot, which is shown here, there's about 81.1 .1 days left in our pilot program, then this would read about 150,000 ample and the same with a decrease. Moving along to total deposits, it reads $1,867,698.39 in US dollars. Now, this metric is pretty straightforward. It is the total dollar value of all Uniswap liquidity that is currently deposited in the geyser, right? So it's represented as the total number of your Uniswap token, right? So say you deposited $100 worth of ETH, and the proportionate amount of that is $100 worth of ample into, uh, into the wrapped ETH ample pool in Uniswap, then you put both of those numbers together and this will come out to $200, right? So now let's say you would like to withdraw 25% of that for whatever your reason may be, you would then leave about $150 left in total deposits in the pool. So it's pretty straightforward. If let's say you add liquidity with $25 worth of ETH and $25 worth of ample, your token value will be $50 in total. And then once you deposit it, you are technically adding $50 worth to the geyser. Going right. to lock rewards, there's about 86,542.44 ample in locked rewards. Now, this and the unlocked reward section is the one are the ones that I have shown a bit of confusion or has caused uh, some confusion in the community. Now, the locked rewards is the number of ample rewards still waiting to move from the locked pool to the 
unlocked pool, right? So eventually these 86,000 amp pool will gradually move here to the unlocked pool. And now the unlocked pool is the sum of the rewards in the unlocked and the rewards which have exited the system. What does that mean? So you could think of it as the total deposits minus the locked rewards. So in other words, uh, the amount of amples here in the unlocked rewards pool is the amount of amples that are currently claimable by participants in the geyser. Once these amples leave the program or leave the, uh, the geyser, then you'll see this number decrease because now they're no longer there in the unlocked rewards pool because they have been claimed by the participants. These bottom two metrics are pretty straightforward. Um, program duration is obviously how many days that are left in this pilot program. There's approximately 81.1 .1 days left in the geyser pilot. However, the Ample 4 team has been pretty outspoken um, about continuing this program well after the pilot is completed. Now the reward unlock rate is 32,017.38 ample per month. And it just goes to show how many amples are unlocked from the locked uh, rewards and goes into the unlocked rewards pool. And just like that, guys, that's my explainer. I hope I deliver some clarification on what some of these stats mean. I know it could be a bit confusing, especially with a brand new product or a brand new project like uh, the geyser coming out um, and some of this jargon that is thrown around. Uh, it could really get your head spinning. But um, with that being said, you know, I try my best to explain. If I didn't, please drop a comment in the comment section um, if you need some more uh, explanation or feel free to contact me on the telegram group chat uh, with that being said looking forward to your feedback thanks for watching